Hello Taurus. This is your reading for the 2nd through the 3rd. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what's going on for you guys here. Taurus. Yeah, the hanging man. Hmm. A lot of you are just over a situation here. Some of you feel like there's nothing that you can do to help it anyway. So it's like you're just kind of taking your hands off of it. Um, that's Piscean energy there. Hmm. Some of you have felt mistreated. And um, you're just taking some time out to kind of get your thoughts together here. Before you start moving again. Um, a lot of you are concentrating on your, on your home at this point. Okay. Concentrating on, you know, just extending your livelihood, building it up. Okay. A lot of you are stuck around a relationship that ended, I feel. And you're kind of reevaluating that. Yeah, you're reevaluating that with judgment. I think you're trying to decide what it is that you want to do as far as this relationship is concerned because. There's a very committed relationship that was here, that ended. And um, a lot of you are in this point, at this point of stasis, where you're trying to figure out, you know, do you want to bring this thing back to life? Is it going to be beneficial? Is it going to be committed? Is this where you're supposed to be? Okay. Then we have the world here. Wrapping up a cycle. Completing something here. Um, but with completion, with both of these cards, both of these are endings. But with these endings also comes new beginning, right? So let's say you guys um, decide that ending this relationship or just letting it be the way that it is while you guys are not together, that's what's best for you. Well, with judgment, you know, it's almost like a finality to the situation and when you make this judgment it's going to have like long-term consequences okay so if if you guys decide that this is not what you want then it's going to be that way for a very long time okay um but if you decide that it is what you want then you guys are able to turn over a new leaf here um, and turn this relationship into something that you feel like is going to be successful and I, and I get the feeling that a lot of you are leaning towards um, bringing this relationship back to life. That's what I'm getting here. Scorpio energy, Virgo energy here. Okay. Let's see what else we got for you guys here. The chariot. Yeah, you're wondering if this is going to be successful. I feel like it did. You felt successful in this relationship before, but something else happened here. Maybe the relationship was stagnant. Um, you felt like it wasn't going anywhere before, but I feel like, you know, you're kind of in this point at this point of like rethinking it, bringing it back to life, um, you know, doing whatever is necessary here with the nine of wands to pick it up and keep it moving. Yeah, you're trying to see. Look at this. The Wheel of Fortune flipped out here. You guys have a lot of cards here that... Hmm. I feel like this is something that you feel will be very successful. There's somebody that you really care about here. Okay. We have Sagittarius energy here now. Um, I think I already said Cancer. But we have any other fixed sign here, Scorpio here, um, yourself, Taurus. We have Leo and we have Aquarius energy, possibly, okay? But what's going on here is that um, with this Wheel of Fortune, this is, this is like whatever you guys decide to put in. If you decide to put nothing, if you decide that this relationship, you know, is not worth saving, then, I mean, it's not worth saving. You go on without it, okay? But I do feel that this Wheel of Fortune, um, coming here with these other cards, whatever it is that, if you decide that you can go on with this relationship, I do feel like this, this is going to be something that brings you um, success here. 
I, I feel strongly that um, this would be definitely good for you guys. Okay? Most definitely. From this reading. If this reading truly resonates with you guys. Okay? Let's see what else we got for you. Yeah, the sun. There's something that you need to awaken to. And I feel like that's what you're taking the time to do because the hanging man, um, you know, on the positive sides, on the positive side rather, they're not just stuck, okay, preferably. What they're actually doing is taking a time out to kind of think about everything, all the possibilities, all the positives, all the negatives, um, what they have actually contributed in the past to the breakdown of the relationship. Could they have done something better? That is what the sun is. It's like realizing within yourself, um, you know, the things that you could possibly change here. Also realizing if, you know, this relationship was very significant or substantial for you to want to bring it back and continue. Can this go like for the duration? Can this be your partner for life, okay? Now this is the chariot and this is your house of partnership here, okay? It, it, it really is. So there's a big decision that you guys have on the table. I feel like, um, you know, either you guys have Leo in your chart, Scorpio in your chart even, um, Virgo maybe but there's somebody here that I feel like makes you guys happy regardless of what happened between you that broke you up overall this person I feel um, is somebody that you can see yourself with okay somebody that you're very attached to somebody I feel like you guys really really are thinking about like you're very attracted to this person you feel bonded to this person. You feel attached to this person. I feel strongly that you guys, um, you really want to be back with this person. Okay. If you are currently in a relationship with them, I feel like this is your partner. This, this is it. Okay. I feel like this person gives you everything you need. Yeah, you're going to struggle here. You're going to go through a struggle here with the Nine of Wands. But, you know, no relationship is without struggle. So it does need work at all times, you know. Let's see. What else? Yeah. You're worrying if this person, I feel, um, feels the same way about you is what I'm getting here. But what I am getting very strongly is that this person feels the same way. But, but the thing is, um, I think they are more concerned with the failure in the past. What has actually happened between the two of you? Only you know that. There was a lot of angst, anxiety, I feel, regarding this situation. But you guys, I feel, are wondering if you could ever be happy with anyone else. Because I really feel like you guys think this is your person. And I do too. But, you know, we all have free will. So, you know, it's, it's completely up to you guys what you do from here on out. Um, but there is a big decision to be made here. You guys are wrapping up this cycle where you know you guys didn't get along or you're not getting along if you're currently with this person but um there there's a very strong attachment between the two of you and i see this i see this being successful i see you guys working it out if you are if you are still together here and if you're not together if you decide to get back or you decide to try to work things out i do see it being successful i really do if you don't if you don't feel like you can go on or you feel like you can't. And I'm, I'm getting that a lot of you are worrying that you can't make this happen. Okay. You may have some Gemini in your chart. You're worrying that you can't make this happen. You're wondering why you feel so attached to this person. But I'm, I'm going to tell you, there's a reason why you feel so attached to this person, my Taurus friends. Okay. We have Capricorn energy here. Leo, I think I already um, spoke the signs. Uh, Gemini is here as well. All right, guys, so I'll be speaking with you soon.